The latte is finished and now it's time to clean this hole. Hello everyone, I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. For those of you guys that are new here, I am Shannon Rose and I am going to do a clean and bake with me today. This is my vlog channel. I have a main channel. Anyway, Snow's having a little birthday party tomorrow just with family and so I have a very messy house as you guys can see. And well, you probably can't see. It doesn't look this messy behind me, but trust me it is. There's some areas that we need to clean and also my older sister is flying in and I have to pick her up at three o'clock and I kind of need to have everything clean before she gets here. And then also a little bit later on, we're gonna be baking cupcakes and also these really yummy pumpkin pie chocolate chip roll things that I created in my dreams that I was gonna put in my last vlog but didn't get a chance to so I'm gonna try to do all that today so without further ado got lots to do let's get cleaning Okay, first things first, our house had laundry scattered all over because our washer and dryer is still not hooked up yet. Travis is still working on that. So I went all around the house and got all of our dirty clothes and kind of combined them into a couple laundry baskets because my mom is an absolute saint and she lets us do our laundry at her house. So thanks mom. Uh, and we've been doing it there for like months. I feel so bad, but Hopefully our laundry will get hooked up soon. Travis is actually remodeling our laundry room. And if you guys know anything about Travis and remodeling, you know that that's probably gonna look really amazing down there. He's really good at remodeling stuff. So I'm excited to have a finished laundry room. I cannot wait. I've never been more grateful for a laundry room in my life. So that's what I'm doing now. And right in between getting done with the laundry, Snow wanted to nurse. I have still not weaned her. In fact, she's nursing more than ever now. And I just... I don't know. I can't stop it. I just look at that face and I can't say no. She's just like my little everything. Oh my gosh, this is her with Bandit. They're so cute together, by the way. Uh, so as soon as they were done, Travis took Snow and they went and did laundry at my mom's house so that he could hang out with her and then let me finish doing some extreme cleaning. I wanted to show you guys something fun. I've taken these little pouches that we use for snow or we have in the past. We stopped using them because I just watched a documentary about uh, climate change. It made me feel really bad about all of the stuff that I'm doing. So um, I'm growing little avocados in here and we will see how it goes. I have a bunch of these in the window, um, like in my window seal. And I have that. This is really dirty. I need to clean in that. Um, and then I also have been saving literally everything. So this diaper, we don't use the Honest Wipes, but um, someone got this for us as a gift and it's now empty. So we just use it to like clean our hands and stuff. And so I'm gonna actually use this to put a plant inside and put it outside. Um, and then I started saving all of my jars and I also have like a mason jar that I had that I have like an avocado seed in. You know, you guys can, um, grow lettuce um like regrow lettuce sam's mugs this is so cute i love it that's growing and then this is the mess that we get to clean today as you guys can see um this has been out i need to bake this we're gonna try to bake that later today basically just need to clean the rest of the house up doesn't look as bad now but you know i need to like vacuum and just kind of like tidy everything up i have like shoes in places um there's like shoes down there and then I have let's see let's go upstairs really quick snow's room is the worst and my sister is actually coming to stay with us she flies in in a few hours and I need to get all of this cleaned up it doesn't look too bad but you know I got to get it all situated and then the bathroom also is not clean like I need to clean the sinks and the toilet and the bathtub and shower. Let's get our clean out, girl. 
yeah, this is messy. We gotta get this going. To clean all the countertops, I'm using my all-purpose cleaner. I did a whole DIY recipe on how I make it and how I use it. So if you guys wanna check that out, I'll try to remember to leave it in the description box below. <laughs> Snow's little treasure chest or toy chest. We keep all of her toys in there and she knows that's where all her toys are. So when she wants one, she goes over there and can pull them out herself. And what I love about it is I think that it's for one, it's so cute for a baby or a kids to have like their little toy or treasure chest. But I also like it because it really matches with our decor. And I think it's fun because she knows all her toys are in there and it makes everything clean and neat. And we're trying to teach her to put her toys back into her treasure chest. So that way she learns, you know, to clean up after herself and that everything has its place. Okay, I'm taking a little break from cleaning to eat some food and I just wanted to share with you guys what I'm eating. This is my lunch and it's absolutely delicious. It's noodles, veggies, tofu, mushrooms, and a cashew sauce and it's delish. And then I'm also eating some <laughs> chips with queso. This is um, cashew fiesta dip. It's from Trader Joe's and it is so good. You guys, you're supposed to heat it up but I'm too lazy so just eating some chips with that. And then um, I finished my fresh squeezed lemonade and I had, haven't had a chance to make more, but I just refilled it with water. So now it's just kind of like lemon water. But I wanted to talk to you guys really quick about something because it's kind of just been weighing on my mind. Um, so I don't know if you guys, when you guys see this video, it's gonna be Monday, I think, that this is gonna go up. 
but when I'm filming it, it's Friday. So today there's like a bunch of really bad fires um, in the valley where we live. Um, we don't live in the valley, but my family does. I have a ton of friends, like I was born and raised there. And every year it's just, there's these really awful devastating fires and it's so sad and people have to evacuate their homes on like such short notice. And with like the floods and Katrina and hurricanes, like everyone thinks these are like natural disasters. And I personally believe that it has to do with climate change. And so we watched this whole documentary last night. Cause I was like, I really want to like learn more about and educate myself more about climate change and what's going on in the world and how I can help. I don't want my daughter growing up in like a world that's just so different from what I grew up in if we can stop it ourselves. And so I watched this um, documentary that Leonardo DiCaprio did and it's called Before the Flood and it was so eye-opening and scary and just like made me feel so bad about so many things that I do that I wanna change. And so uh, there is going to be a lot of changes going on with me um, as far as like trying to be way more eco-friendly. I mean, I'm already vegan and I think that's like huge, but there's so much more I can do just in my life. And um, like, you know, I made a video the other day like shopping at the thrift store. I think shopping at thrift stores is really great. Not only does it save you money, but it's super eco-friendly. Um, and you know making our own food at home not buying so much packaged meals like i was buying snow a lot of like pre-packaged baby foods and even for me because i'm busy all the time so i might start doing like food prep or something so that when i'm busy you know i can just grab it out of like a, a glass tupperware or something and um eat it from that because uh i just we make so much waste and I just feel like it's really harming our planet and I don't want snow to live in like a world that's like you can't go outside or you know you have to wear masks if you want to go outside. It's just really scary what's happening. Um, I really encourage you guys to watch that if you have Netflix um, to watch Before the Flood or 11th Hour any of those. I think Before the Flood is the newest one and uh, really just educate yourself about it because it's just so important, you know? And so I'm gonna do everything I can and I'm not perfect, you know, like one thing at a time, but like I'm gonna slowly start to try to incorporate like a more zero waste lifestyle, you know, as much as I can. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. And you guys are obviously welcome to follow along on my journey on how I plan to do that. And if you guys have any tips or tricks on how I can be more eco-friendly, let me know. I started bringing my reusable cup to Starbucks when I go to Starbucks. Also, we got these um, in the Keurig. Um, they have these reusable pods instead of, I still have like these pods, um, but we are no longer gonna be using these. These are bad, no, no. Just like little things like that here and there. Um, I showed you earlier like that I'm reusing her pouches. We're no longer buying pouches. Um, so just, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna do my best. So anyways, if you guys have any tips, oh, I'm gonna be making my own reusable pads also. So a lot of people use the menstrual, the reusable menstrual cups, and those are amazing. I can no longer use those because I have really bad endometriosis and it's super painful for me to put them in. And even tampons right now, I can't even do because my endometriosis is so bad. So I've been using pads, which is like, ugh especially when you've been you know using tampons are so much more convenient but a lot of them are really not good for you unless you're getting like all organic and even then like I don't know I just kind of like feel better about letting it come out naturally so I know it sounds gross sorry if I'm grossing out but like I want to make my own reusable pads with like some of the clothes that I would donate and old towels and stuff so if you guys want to see that video let me know but anyway, I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk to you guys about that and let me know. Let's do this together. It'll be fun. Um, it'll be like our little project and our journey together. And we can leave each other in the comments. So tips for each other, like what you guys do or, you know, whatever. So we can all help each other out. Okay, I'm going to eat my lunch and then we get back to cleaning. So I know in a past vlog I said I wasn't really using my diffuser anymore, but today I decided to diffuse some essential oils in my diffuser and I only had it on for a very short period of time, like 15 or 20 minutes, and I just loved the scent and I also really love the way it looks, like it makes me very happy. And I actually feel safer using you know, natural essential oils as opposed to like toxic chemicals like that I'm spraying around the house with my cat. So uh you know, like I said, I only had it on a short time and the cat was all the way downstairs in his room. So 
and I had windows open, so I felt safe. Um, but be careful if you are diffusing essential oils, if you have pets and babies, because there are certain essential oils that are harmful for them. So just do your research and make sure you are safe when using it. Um, but right now I am just doing some extreme vacuuming. I don't remember the last time I vacuumed my chairs. I ended up vacuuming my couch. Like I went all out, you guys. I also use this like hardwood floor cleaner on the couch to see how it worked and I would have to say I would not recommend using the hardwood hardwood floor attachment for your couches. It's not made for it. Clearly, I was just experimenting, but I ended up using the um like the pet one that's supposed to be for stuff like this and it worked so much better and it really does get so much dirt out of the couches. You'd be surprised how much like dust and dirt and just like yuckiness accumulates on your couches. So I like to vacuum them at least, you know, once or twice a month if I can. Uh, so that's what I did today and I felt very accomplished after that. Um, but yeah, I, if anyone's curious, I'm using the shark vacuum. This is like the corded one. Um, I have it in my Amazon storefront, so I'll definitely link it there. Uh, and just to be totally transparent, my Amazon storefront is a place where, like shop on Amazon and buy whatever you want. It doesn't cost extra money, but it is an affiliate link. So I get like two cents or something if you end up buying something on there and it really helps me out a lot. So, um, if you want to use my link, I would love that, but you're not obligated to, obviously. But this hardwood floor attachment for the shark vacuum is amazing. It does suck because it's corded and it's heavy, but it's a, like a really heavy duty vacuum. It works really well. I also have the cordless Dyson and I like that too for like smaller jobs. But if I'm doing like a deep clean or an extreme clean, I definitely like to use my shark just because I feel like it's a lot more powerful and I don't have to like, you know, recharge it if I'm cleaning my whole house at the same time. Um, and this attachment like does such an amazing job it really gets into all those little corners and crevices that are hard to reach as you can see so I would highly recommend it um I really like I'm spoiled I like having two vacuums uh for different things so if you do clean a lot um I would you know recommend if you can afford it to get both of them if not I would just get the shark vacuum because it like does everything it's really amazing and especially if you have pets like this is really good for pets so I'm just vacuuming my house like a crazy person <laughs> You guys are probably like, Shannon, I can't believe you weren't using gloves when you were cleaning that toilet. Well, I know that literally no one's used that toilet and it's brand new. So uh, don't trip chocolate chip. 
Uh, now I am cleaning Snow's room, which was desperately needed, and now I am in my room vacuuming, and I don't know if you guys have seen my room. I think I need to do like a house tour. You're kind of getting a house tour right now because you're seeing like a lot of my house. Not the whole thing though. Should I do a house tour? Let me know down in the comment section, and should that go up on the main channel? I feel like it should. Uh, so I bought this headboard, and I really like the height of it, but I do not like the color. I feel like it's too dark, and with like my mood I get like I don't know I'm so weird you guys does anybody get this but like it makes me depressed so I need to get a lighter headboard or maybe reupholster it I'm not sure uh what do you think I should do think reupholstering it would be a really good idea save a lot of money but it'd probably be a total pain so I don't know I'll have to think about it um but now I'm just going to finish cleaning every nook and cranny in this house I literally just cleaned my whole house. I don't know where I got the energy to do that, but I am like exhausted now. So I'm gonna take a little break and then charge this battery because it's dying. Wait for my mom and my sister to come over and we're gonna get to baking. You guys, guess who's here? Chantel. She just got home from like a very long flight from New Zealand. So she's hanging out with Snowy. We're all hanging out and we're getting ready to bake some by the way, she's walking. Okay, so I'm getting ready to make some cupcakes for Snow Bear's birthday party. It's not really a party, it's like a very small family get together, but getting ready to make some cupcakes. Um, and then we are also gonna make something else that's super fun. So if you wanna see what we bake, keep watching. I'll try to leave the recipe down in the description if I remember. If for some reason I don't, let me know and I'll add it in. Trying to let go of this heartache It's been following me around It wakes me up It shoots me down At this point I would rather be numb I'm sick and tired of emotions They've never done me any good Just tore me up into bits I wish I knew how to call it quits I should recipe I created and I just took some brown sugar and cinnamon I mixed it all together on a plate and then I took some white bread and really you can use any kind of bread you want and then I cut the um, crust off of it and I also did not have a rolling pin so don't judge me when you see this next clip of me I had to get creative and decided just to use a glass cup you could use any cup if you don't have a rolling pin and I flattened out the bread and then I took some pumpkin and oh my cupcakes were ready they came out so good you guys I like putting them on top because I don't like to bake them all the way um I like to have them a little bit un like underdone or whatever you would want to call it and then I put it up there so that it still heats a little bit but also is cooling at the same time and it turns out so good Okay, so I put some pumpkin onto the bread and then I took some chocolate chips and put them in and then I rolled them up, dipped them in like melted butter and then rolled them in the cinnamon and brown sugar and then put them in a baking pan and I baked them at 350 for like 20 minutes and 
oh my god, you guys, I can't even tell you. Like, these were so good and so easy to make and so inexpensive. I had the whole family try them and they were a crowd pleaser. They were gone in like five seconds. So I was just kind of experimenting. I'd never made them before, but they turned out so good and I'm so happy that they did. Um, so if you guys make this, please tag me on Instagram and let me know and send me pictures because I really want to know what you guys think or even just comment if you don't have Instagram in the like next vlog or something because I really want you guys to try these. You can get creative and put anything you want in there. So definitely test it out. I also decided to save one of my Instagram stories in case you don't have Instagram or you didn't see this. I know it deletes after 24 hours and some of these clips I really wanted to save and document because my mom and I and my sister went to the farmer's market early um, morning on Saturday to get some fresh fruits and veggies for the party and there were lots of plants and I was teaching Snow about herbs and it was just such a cool experience and I love that we bought some herbs for the house and got, like I said, some really fun stuff for her party that we had with just like family. Um, this was some of the family before a bunch of people got here and my mom made this beautiful veggie platter from the farmer's market. Those were my muffins. She made this beautiful fruit platter, some homemade guacamole, and then this is what my fireplace currently looks like. I absolutely love it. I actually got that idea um, from one of you guys, the lights. I had like the bag of bones in there, but the lights I thought was really cool because it looks like a fire. So thanks for whoever uh, sent that idea to me. And then this was Snowy. She did a little cupcake smash and she ate the whole freaking thing. Uh, and then my sister got her this adorable jacket. I'm like, oh my gosh, she looks like a pinata. She is so cute. And we were playing the thrift store song, you know, like uh, I'm not going to sing it because it'll get copyrighted, but we were all singing it to her when she had the jacket on and I just thought it was so adorable and I love that my sister got her something from the thrift store and then she started singing and not singing, but like dancing to the music. It was really fun. And then we had a fun pinata for the adults. So that was really fun. I put like beauty products in it and they had a good time. So it was an amazing, amazing birthday for Snow and I'm so glad that our family was able to um, come and celebrate that with us. It was really special. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Turn on your notifications. I am posting every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if you don't see a notification, definitely come back and check my channel because there should be a video up every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm sending you all my love and positive energy and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Mwah!